How's everyone doing today? Excited to leave early? There's a very loud cry from that section of the room, so they know how to live. I'm Sam Bichette. I'm Amelia Marceau. We're seniors and we're going to be leaving a community meeting today. Uh, could Valentina, Laura, Abigail, Jeanette, and Reese Pilchik come to the front of the, uh, representing a superhero with a sidekick or anything along that line, uh, you can do that. Self-explanatory, no, it's not for me. Same here. I think Amelia put it to words best. Any way you think of it, uh, represents America, whether it be red, white, and blue, elements of American culture, it's up to you, really and color wars. And so that brings us into another thing we need to talk about. Difference between upper school and lower school celebrations for color wars. Amelia, can you give me a uh, sort of recap of what the upper school does? So the upper school on Thursday after America Day will be decorating the entire building in their class color. There are a few things that you cannot do. You cannot do anything permanent. We don't want to see spray paint. We don't want to see um, permanent tape on walls. We want it to be nice and fun. For tape, use painter's tape, doesn't feel the tape, uh, tape on. But, you will be exploding your color across the whole upper school and white building. The walkway from the upper school to the white building will be broken up for each grade. You will have a set section to decorate. The same will go for the cafeteria. You will have a set section for your grade. Everywhere else is a free for all. Uh, keep the decorations appropriate, and uh, it's not Look kindly upon if you take down other grades' decorations. Quantity, quality over quantity. You want to have good decorations so you get more points. For 
for the lower school, you guys will be decorating your homeroom door. Same thing, but like a much smaller area. A wall, a lot of food. All right. Uh, now that that's over, we'd like to call up Miss Lindsay uh, to talk about building community. Wow, it's really great to see all 1,000 plus adults and students in this same spot. When I look out at all of you, I see more than a thousand individual beautiful faces. Each of you, each of you with your own strengths that we need you to share with each other and weaknesses because we all have weaknesses because we're all human and that's part of the human experience. But we learn from those things and we help support each other, okay? I want you to think for a moment, I know it's a little early in the season, but I want you to think for a moment about, you know a winter day and it's snowing and you've got like a, a dark blue coat on and you're in a snowstorm? And it's one of those snowstorms where there's the big puffy snowflakes, right? And you catch one on your arm, or you catch one on your finger. Okay, well try it. Try it this winter, okay? Because when you do that, and you look closely at each one of those little snowflakes, you see the amazing beauty in them. You see the differences, and although some of them look alike, they may have some similar shapes to them, just like we all do, each one of them is completely different, right? And they're amazing. And they're, they're unique, individual, just like all of us. But they're also fragile, right? And if you have that snowflake on your finger for too long, it melts. Or you can smush them and then they're gone. Just like all of us and somehow Sometimes how we can get our feelings hurt and hurt each other within the community, right? By things that we say or do. I want you to look at each other as individual, unique little snowflakes. You are all special in your own way. every day, okay? Love each other, support each other, respect each other, and make this community, this Amstead community, this Amstead family, something very, very special. I feel that happening. I feel it happening every day when I walk through the halls and I look in your faces in the morning. I see the change happening. I need you to keep the momentum going, to think before you speak, to look at others, as equals to yourselves, to care for each other, to have each other's back, to make that real, not just something we talk about periodically, okay? So in the spirit of that, and in the spirit of, of learning about each other and, and the differences we have in our community, I've got two things that I'm working on. One is the Principal's um, Council for Community Relations. I put an email out to the senior class about that, um, I've, I've gotten a few people who are interested in, in that. I want to encourage the more seniors to get involved. If this is a topic that interests you, you want to help work with the, the middle schoolers, have maybe a poster campaign or all kinds of things we can think about, please reach out to me and let me know. Um, juniors, I'm going to open this up to you too. If this is something you'd like to be a part of, um, please reach out to me, okay? The other thing is, is that we're having four community meetings this year. This one, one in December, one in March, and then to celebrate the seniors in May. But we all know that in, in December and November, December, in that time range, there's a lot of different holidays that are celebrated by members of our, of our community. I want to share those with everyone so that we all can be a part of it, right? We can all share our traditions, we can all share our celebrations, 
And so if you have some type of a talent that you would like to share, cultural dance, holiday dance, a song, instrumental, a poem, sharing, a, a, a talk about a tradition that you have in your home, please let me know. We're looking for student acts for that December community meeting. I think it would be a wonderful time to share um, a very you know, fun, special time of the year, but to really learn about each other. Um, and as we learn about each other, we're going to grow in understanding and grow in love for each other. So with, um, without further delay, I want to introduce to you, um, we have, so it is um, National Hispanic Heritage Month. Woo! was wonderful enough to find us some performers that are going to come and talk to you a little bit about Spanish heritage and share some dance with you. So I'd like to welcome Edmi Ortiz and Antonio TV. In flamenco, you are allowed to encourage the dancer. And the most popular word, can somebody say it? Ole!
shout out. Andalusia. So that's a Sevillanas that she just danced, and that's from a city called Sevilla. Now in Spain, there's a bunch of different cities and different regions, and each one kind of have their own signature dance forms. Um, Flamenco, the main protagonist of this art form, were the gypsies, or the gitanos. And their story started actually 1,500 years ago when they migrated from northwest India. Some of them traveled through the Middle East. Some of them traveled through uh, North Africa. Some of them traveled through the south of Europe, eventually landing in Spain. And along their journey, they brought all these musical and artistic influences with them. And there, when they arrived in Spain, they, bl they blended in with these Sephardic Jews, the Moors, who were the Muslims of Berber and North African descent, um, and the native Spaniards there. So there you can kind of see the importance of the integration of different cultures and the mixing and blending of different ideas. Okay, uh, so the next item on our agenda is brief summaries of each extracurricular club that is uh, at home and answer this year. So if you have been chosen to represent one of the clubs you're a part of, could you please come up and stand over here? Up first we have UNICEF. Hey everybody, my name is Lydia and I'm the president of this year's UNICEF chapter. Hi, I'm Arthi and I'm the treasurer of UNICEF this year. So basically in UNICEF what we do is we create fundraisers at AMSA and whatever proceeds we make we donate them to the global UNICEF organization and what that does is it helps children and women all over the world in developing countries that don't have the same resources as we do. Um, we meet every other Friday in room 802 with Miss Artiaga and um, we're still open to having people in our club even though we're at 52 right now. So if UNICEF is your thing, then please join. such as Classic Day at Boston University. Some members choose to play Kirtaman or classically themed Quiz Bowl and play tournaments such as Harvard and Yale Kirtaman. We will participate in a wide variety of community service projects to better our local community. And at state convention, we will compete in art, athletic, academic, spirit, and performance contests to help AMSA win the state trophy. Registration is currently up on the school store. If you're interested in joining, come to our general informational meeting on October 18th from 3.30 to 4 p.m. in room 8 or 3. 
We have a middle school curtailment informational meeting next, uh, next Thursday, October 5th in room 805, and a freshman curtailment meeting next Friday, October 6th in room 803. We hope to see you all there. Thank you. know I'm one of the team leads for uh, ball, ball robotics we meet every Monday and Thursday starting in January and we go to March we compete in a regional competition in late March sometimes early April and we meet in Miss Bandara's room room 504 uh, up next she has gents and gems. So if you are a middle school girl or a middle school boy and you want to code an app, then you can come to the lower school computer science rooms and learn how to do that. So we're using uh, a, a pretty basic uh, app creating software called MIT App Inventor. Uh, you really don't need, if you're not big on coding and you don't, you've never done it before, that's fine. Uh, you, if you are, that's great but we don't require it. We're really open to any middle schoolers that are interested in making apps, uh, and you're gonna learn uh, how to work with the team and how to work together and solve problems together. Yeah, we start after winter break, so in January, and then you'll present your project if it's a game or some other kind of app like later in the spring. Anyone who's interested should uh, contact Ms. Mandaru. Uh, we, yeah. Uh, it's, it, yeah, we start after winter break, and uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, so if you're a middle schooler who likes coding and wants to make an app, join us. Up next, we have Technovation. Hi, I'm Denisha, and I'm Catherine, and we're from Technovation. So, Technovation is a club for, middle, uh, for high school girls uh, we work for six months to create an app that helps solve a worldwide problem. So we meet after school every Thursday until 6, starting in January, where we work with teams to code these apps. At the end of it, like when the apps are all done, we go to a statewide competition, and if you do well there, you can go to the international competition. Technovation is a great way to apply your computer science, business, or marketing skills for a meaningful cause. So thank you, and please join. Uh, up next, Quiz Bowl. So Quiz Bowl is a club where people get to compete against other schools in a battle for knowledge. It's really fun, AMPS has a great program. We've won nationals. We're, we're hoping this year to appear on High School Quiz Show. We've won that, and if we're planning to win again this year, it, re it would really help if everyone came and showed their support for AMSA, and uh, we'd love to have you guys there. I love you. <laughs> Good luck, teams, and here we go. On what date in 1941 did the Japanese attack Pearl Harbor? Yes, either. December 7th. Yes, in 2016, Gary Johnson and Bill Well were on the ballot for what political yes? Libertarian Party. <laughs> Colorado. Yes. What winner of the 1970 yeah. also served in the Chilean Senate? Yes, Ron. Neruda. Yes. <laughs> Nominated for an Emmy. Yes. Laverne Cox. Yes. <laughs> yes. This week will remain in Virginia, resulting in a death. Yes. Violin. Yes, <laughs> the world's first nuclear powered submarine. The Nautilus. In 1632, what American colony was founded by Lord Baltimore? 
Yes, Ron. Maryland. Yes, in the film The Lion King, what was the name of Simba's father? Yes, have you heard? Mufasa? Yes. Uh, the largest subdivision of heroes. Period. Uh, the first State of the Union radio broadcast. And there is the ball ending round in the game of the world. This is the first round in science with 645 points. The Brown Field School, the runner up this week, 200. compositions of the songs like for example we did we're doing a bad blood mashup right now with uh, Taylor Swift's bad blood and Bastille's bad blood it's coming up pretty nice and so yeah we meet every Thursday at like from 3 30 to 5 and it's a lot of fun if you're really interested please try out in spring we really need some guys so any male singers out there any beatboxers I'm gonna be talking about drama. We gotta get through this, we don't have much time. The Drama Society is an enthusiastic group of students who act, sing, dance, direct, write, and or help build sets and props for shows. This year we are performing a Western Dinner Theater show on Friday, November 10th in the Lower School Cafeteria. We are also performing a play version of The Nutcracker, The Story and Dance. Which has, been, uh, which has acting and lines besides dancing. We are also planning a student written directed skit for Arts Night and in the spring, Beauty and the Beast as our musical. Cool. And uh, the seniors are planning to perform Macbeth in May. Time to go off script. I've been in drama for five years. It's great. You should join it. It's really fulfilling. the new GSA club, our Gender and Sexuality Acceptance Club. So this club will be a safe place for students to gather together, support each other, and discuss issues related to social justice with a special focus on the LGBTQ plus community. We're also aiming to raise money for causes such as the Trevor Project, National Dis Disaster Relief, or human rights crises that may arise whether LGBT related or not. The Upper School GSA Club is open for res registration on the AMSA School Store for free of charge. If you're a middle school student interested in joining the Lower School Branch, please see the Lower School GSA, GSA Advisor, Ms. Erico. Anyone is welcome and everyone is encouraged to join. The first meeting will be on October 24th. If you have any questions, feel free to stop us in the hallway or see our Club Advisor, Ms. Colting. We're going to be doing volunteering, social projects, also we'll have, we'll have different speakers coming in and we'll have access to different internships and scholarships. So Black Students Union is not only exclusive to Black students in the AMSA community, it's open to anyone who wants to make a change in their community. So I invite everyone to come out. Registration is still open and you can still put your name in for running for office. Our meetings are on Thursdays from 3.30 to 4.30, so I invite everyone to visit us next Thursday. That's it. Uh, okay, uh, we're on a bit of a time crunch, so we're going to ask that you keep applause until the end. Up next, Middle School Girls Reading Club. Hello, my name is Mrs. Hendel, and I'm 
the advisor of the Lower School Girls Reading Club. Uh, we're open to any girls, 6th through 8th grade. We meet every other Wednesday from 3.30 to 4.30, and we are currently discussing, well, we're getting ready to discuss the book, Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. Uh, we'd love it to have more girls to join us. Um, we're reading any popular books for that age group. So please see me in room 301 if you have questions or go on the school website. Thank you. Next we have the Lower School of Math Club. As we do have math in our school's name, it makes sense that we have a club dedicated to kids that like to do math. So because of that, if you are interested, uh, we have two coaches, uh, Mr. Villa and Mr. Hunter. So if you're interested in math, you like math, and you want to do something you know, that's higher than what you do in class, please come on Mondays or talk to Mr. Villa and Mr. Mrs. Hall. Speech and debate. <laughs> Hello, uh, my name's Josh, that's Nisha, that's Lydia, that's Venetia, Samson, to keep it short. We're speech and debate, we're the officers. What we do is every Monday we get together in the white building and we talk a lot, and then some Saturdays we go to schools and then we talk against other people and we win. So it's a lot of fun, and if you're interested in it, uh, we have tryouts every like May or June for the following season. So there we go. Do you guys want to say anything? And we're six for the same. We're only getting better. several different clubs, I'm doing them all at the same time. Uh, we'll talk about Fitness Club first. So Fitness Club is pretty fun. It works, um, I'm sorry, it meets on Wednesdays uh, from 3.30 to 4.30. Okay, we do various activities. We are gonna conduct uh, fitness activities, workout routines that isolate uh, specific muscles and build your endurance. Okay, we'll be, uh, we have pull-up bars, uh, we have uh, in different um, activities that will be pretty fun. Art Club is going to meet uh, on Mondays from 3.30 to 4.30 as well. It goes all year. Uh, and pretty much you're going to come in, be creative, uh, create murals for AMSA to beautify AMSA, as well as life-size 3D sculptures, uh, which are pretty cool. Uh, Gaming Club uh, starts in January. That's going to meet 3.30 to 4.30 on Wednesdays, replacing Fitness Club. Well, Fitness Club ends in December, I'm sorry, I should have said that. And that's pretty much going to be video game competitions. Uh, we can do board games, we can do training card competitions. So, yeah, sure, you know, whatever you want. We can, we can play chess, we can play Mario Kart. Thank That'd be pretty fun right, Thank you. in California, New York, and Connecticut. Um, I'm on marketing, so I help raise money and I help design the car this year. Um, and Julia's on engineering. 
So in engineering, we take the design that we create with the marketing team and we build the car from the ground up. So we get uh, parts from old ATVs and other go-karts and stuff like that and completely build the car ourselves. So it's very hands-on and it's really fun if you like cars or engineering or anything like that. Even if you don't like engineering, you can join marketing and be like me. Please join. <laughs> January 5th and runs for six sessions through February 16th. We meet Friday night, we leave right after the bell goes, 3.15, we come back at Amps at 9 o'clock, we go to Wachusett, we ski there, we have a lot of fun, there's 100 spots, it's first come, first serve, you have to register, registration will open in October, it's open grades 8 through 12, priority given to them, and then there's a chance that there's, there may be spots left which will be open to grades 6 and 7. If you're interested in that, you should come see me and talk to me. I am in room 308. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, model UN. Okay, let's go. So Model UN is a club where you get to learn about the world around you. If any of you watch the news or pay attention to current events or have like big opinions about what's going on in the world, Model UN could be the, good, the right club for you. The skills that Model UN helps you develop are things that are going to serve you throughout your entire life and help you succeed in many ways. I'm sure you can understand like, understanding what the world is like and my group is doing the future. To being a global citizen. Actual UN delegates to have a lot of fun. We run from the beginning of the year to about April and we'll have about four conferences per year. Amsa Literary Magazine. Hi, um, I'm here. to building a catapult that's launched across an entire room. Uh, meetings are every Wednesdays from 3.30 to 4.30. The cost is $25 to register. We're the registration is still open. Our next meeting is October 4th in room 610, and registration closes um, on October 17th. We hope to see some of you there. Thank you. All right, what's next? Leaders of tomorrow. Yes. All right, so I'm going to do this really quick since we don't have a lot of time. 
I'm Matt Polnick, I'm president, this is Gabby, she's VP, Julia Kraflin, she's treasurer, and John is secretary. All right, so, um, Music Tomorrow is a club where we do a lot of community volunteering inside AMSA, outside AMSA, and we are open to all grades seven and up. So if you have an interest in participating in events to help out places like Special Olympics, uh, different events like that, um, the registration closes next Friday, October 6th. So if you're interested in joining, we hope to see you all there. French Club. Winnie, president of the French Club, and I'm Kate, I'm VP. Okay, so in the French Club, we prepare for National French Week, we do a lot of, celebrate French culture, we eat a lot of French food, and it's generally a really good time. It's open to anyone who takes French, which is those who are up to 9 to 12. We meet every other Thursday um, from 3.30 to 4.30 in room 803. So it's just a wonderful way to celebrate French culture and all the wonderful food, games, and movies that come out of France. And uh, so yeah, please join. We've got 25 kids this year, and we're always looking for more. So hope to see you. Spanish club. And we have parties for holidays like Day of the Dead. Y comemos comida hispana. The club is one or two Thursdays every month. Y la registración está abierta para los estudiantes de la escuela secundaria. And registration is open for high school students. And it's free. Freshman Math Club. Uh, lower School Boys Reading Club. Hello, Amsa. I'm Mr. Daly. I'm the advisor for the Lower School Boys Reading Club. It is open to any young man in grades 6, 7, or 8. We meet every Thursday in room 611 in the upper school from 345 to 445. And uh, we're going to be just reading and discussing a whole bunch of cool stuff, graphic novels, sci-fi books, comic books, uh, leaving it open to any club members' uh, thoughts on what they want to read as well. Um, so if you're interested, please just stop by room 611 uh, this coming Thursday at 345. And I promise no mandatory annotations. No annotations. All right, thank you very much. recently this year because there's no fundraising options for animals in any of the other clubs. So we're not quite off the ground yet, but we're working on it. Okay, um, this is Hannah. She forgot to introduce herself. I'm Liz Powell. And we'll be raising money for animals that have been hurt in natural disasters like those hurricanes. Like there's companies like AAEP that works for horses that have been hurt in the hurricanes. So we love animals and if you love animals, come and love animals with us. Business team. This is Andrew. I'm Nisha. We're your co-captains. Will and Thomas Hodge, Ari Singh, and your other officers. So pretty much in business team, if you're a high school student who's interested in anything having to do with business, that means sports management, marketing, um, stock market, finance, whatever it may be, this is the place for you. Uh, we meet every Thursday, and we start October 19th, which is the Thursday after Health Wars. So if you're interested in being a member, please definitely come. Our advisor is Mr. Kochi, he's awesome. 
and also Andrew would be one of your co-presidents, which should be a selling point in itself. Lower school student government. One of the vice presidents. Student government. student government is a great way for students to learn about AMSA and how to be a leader. That's right. We discuss important topics about the school and figure out ways we can improve your experience in the lower school. Sixth graders, we will be starting elections in October. We are looking for students who want to learn how to become a leader and students who want to make the lower school a better place. We will have more information about the sixth grade elections in October. Thank you. Upper school student government. Let's, let's applaud all these. Let's try a unison clap, everyone at once. One, two, three.